Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about the feeling sad. And we have Daphne and Twizzle to help us out. Ready, Dahlia? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Hey, has anybody seen Daphne, Dahlia? Have you seen Daphne anywhere? Look, she's crying. <laughs> I'm gonna go see what's wrong. Daphne, are you okay? <laughs> I'm so sad. I was in the middle of playing, and then the teacher said we had to clean up because it was past time, and I didn't want to clean up because I was right in the middle of a game. <laughs> oh, Daphne, it's okay to be sad. Sad sometimes. Dolly, have you ever been sad? Oh, yeah. Have you been sad when you were playing and then your mommy says it's time to clean up and you were not done playing? Yeah, we all get sad sometimes, Daphne, but you know what? Later, after pastime, I'm gonna play with you. Okay? Oh, really, Twinkle? Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Oh, thank you for making me feel happy. Thank you, Twinkle. Oh, so look at that. Daphne was sad at the beginning, but then she went and she was feeling more happy at the end. She felt a little better. So let's look at some pictures of people who are sad and we can figure out how we know if they're sad. So let's look at this boy. See this boy? How do you think he feels, Dahlia? Sad. Yeah, this boy is sad. We can tell by looking at his eyes and his mouth, right? His eyes are kind of looking down. It doesn't really look sad. No? No, it doesn't. Well, he is sad. <laughs> this boy is feeling sad. Maybe he's disappointed? Yeah, that's another way to put it. That's another way to put it. Yeah, this boy is sad. Let's look at another picture. How about this boy? This boy feels sad. You know why I think he's sad, maybe? Maybe he didn't really want to wear his brown hat today. He wanted to wear his blue hat. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to go to the zoo, but his mom and dad didn't let him. Maybe. Maybe that. Maybe his mom and dad said, well, not today. Today's not a good day for the zoo. So here's another picture of a girl who's sad. Dahlia, what is she doing? What's coming out of her eyes that makes you know that she's sad? Tears. She has tears. She's crying. Usually when people are crying, that means that they're feeling sad, right? She's got kind of a pout. Her mouth is turned down like that. This girl's sad. Look at this story. Look at this picture. And we can kind of tell a story with this picture, right? So what's going on in this picture? We have a boy who looks sad. And why do you think he's sad? Because he can't go to his, to his grandma. grandma's house. Maybe he was at his grandma's house and he was playing and his mom said, time to go. And he says, I don't wanna go, I wanna stay here. So he's feeling sad. Look at this boy. How does he feel? Sick and sad. He is sick and sad. Sometimes when we feel sick, we also feel sad. That's right. All right, I have one more picture. So how many children do you see in this picture, Dahlia? One, two, three, four. You see three children playing ball. And then what about this child over here? He's She's left, she's left out and that makes her feel sad. She wants to play with the other kids, but she's not. They haven't invited her to play. Maybe she's new, so Maybe she doesn't know anyone. That's true, maybe she's new, she doesn't know anyone, she's feeling shy and she's feeling sad because she really wants to play ball, but she doesn't really want to ask because she's new and she doesn't know them so well, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're gonna go get our feelings chart and we're gonna add a new feeling to our feelings chart. Are you ready, Dahlia? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so we learned a new feeling. We learned the feeling sad. So we get to add another feeling to our feelings chart. Dahlia, do you have the sad picture for me? Mm -hmm. You gonna go get it? All righty, let's put it on. And now we get to sing the If You're Happy and You Know It song. You ready, Dahlia? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, you can smile. If you're happy and you know it, you can smile. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, you can smile. If you're sad and you know it, you can cry. <laughs> If you're sad and you know it, you can cry. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, you can cry. <laughs> okay, now we're going to play a game with our face. Okay, so here's our mystery face. It's missing some things. What's it missing, Dahlia? Eyes, yes. Ears. Yeah. Mouth. A nose. Okay. So first, we're gonna add a nose. Now, does the nose change if you're happy or sad? No. No. So pick any nose you want, and you can put it. Ah. It's okay because there's tape on the picture already. So. Oh, it's fine. If you can double tape it. Nope, not that one. Oh, right. Right in the oh, middle there. Okay, thanks, Dahlia. All right, now, again, ears, we need to know, we need to know, do our ears change if we're happy or sad? No, ears are always the same. So, we just put those ears right on there. Okay, now, Dahlia, can you pick a mouth that looks sad? Yeah? That's definitely sad. And then we were talking about, what do we do when we're sad? We cry. We cry. So can you find the eyes that are sad? Okay. Awesome. Now look at our sad face. It's such a sad face. Oh, no. So do we want to change this face to happy, maybe, Dahlia? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So what two things do we need to change in order to make it happy? Eyes and mouth. So I'm going to help you take those eyes off. I'm going to help you to take the mouth off. Oh, and let's put, put on a happy mouth and some happy, happy eyes. Eye. Excellent. Let's take a step back. Ah, we did it. All we had to do was change two things, our eyes and our mouth. And that changes the feeling that, that's on our face, right? Well, that's it for today. We did sad today and we did a little review of happy. We'll see you guys next time.